Okay, it's uh, Jason with RP RPC Electronics, and this is a uh, lesson eight of the uh, Eagle tutorial. Uh, if, if you've been watching the whole uh, whole series of tutorials up to this point, you uh, you should have a fairly good working knowledge now of how the software works, and uh, hopefully you're you're uh, following along with this. Um, uh, I really uh, I'm doing this uh, because. Uh, when I got started with this program, I, other than reading the manuals and reading some stuff online, I, I, uh, I had a uh, interesting time trying to uh, get used to this. So, so hopefully this is this is helping everyone out there. Okay, um, we've got the board here just as we left it at the end of uh, lesson seven, uh, the parts where we put them. Um, there are a couple little things I'd like to change, just for function. You'll see why. Um, really the only thing that I don't like about how I left this is I don't like how I had the diode. Uh, obviously power is being fed through the diode, through this switch, and then through the regulator. Well, since it is going through the diode, uh, obviously the diode would physically need to be between this connector and the switch. Um, but the way it's, it's going right now, obviously power is not going to go through the diode straight to the regulator as you would think. Uh, unless you looked at the air wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the diode and I'm going to uh, right click a couple of times so I can uh, change the orientation. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the diode right there because logically the power is going to go from the connector through the diode to the switch. And also since I did that I'm going to uh, adjust the switch position so that we have a fairly straight line going down through there. Even though this air wire is kind of jagged and not straight, that's not going to be a real big problem uh, when it comes down to um, finally running our traces. But just for just just so it, it, it we have an easier time routing, we'll go ahead and change our grid again. This time I'm going to do like a 0.2. I think that ought to, uh, that ought to be enough to uh, adjust this. And I'm going to pull that up and uh, now our, our line here is nice and straight and I'm going to do the same thing with the switch here. I'm going to grab the switch and well it's not perfect but it's uh, it's 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 close so I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's that's going to be good. Um, in the previous lesson I also mentioned that the uh, grounds uh, here particularly were going to be connected and as you can see here uh, we've got a lot of grounds here in, in place. Uh, there's, there's these two grounds, there's these three, there's this uh, ground on the resistor, and you can see all those are connected. Uh, one of the things you might notice is that the ground for the regulator is jumping all the way back here. And you might ask why is it not jumping here considering these are closer. Well, it all depends on when the connectors are, or when the parts are physically placed uh, where the air wires are going. But there's a tool to fix that. It's called the rat's nest tool and that's this little X here with the five dots. And what that's going to do is uh, it's going to find the shortest route that all these traces need to, to or these air wires need to make to make the connection. So I'm going to click that and watch it's going to happen fast. Okay there it goes. And you can see that that one ground from the regulator has now been shortened to right here at this uh, at this cap. Now obviously like I said these grounds are all tied together and those are going to be tied together even further in uh, in the next lesson when I show you how to uh, do a what we call a ground copper pour and uh, I'll explain that more in lesson 9. But as you can see, we've we've uh, now done our, our uh, rat's nest, so everything's as short as possible. So let's go ahead and start running a couple of traces, and, uh, and you can see how to do that. We're going to do two types of traces uh, routing. We're going to do a manual, and we're also going to do a an auto router. And the auto router is a function built in, and it's it could be a complete lesson in itself. But for the for what we're doing here we're not going to worry a whole much about a whole lot about changing the settings of the auto router we're going to pretty much go with uh, the settings that that Eagle uh, or CADSoft gives you so to do a manual route we're going to start with that obviously we've got this air wire here between these two parts so if you look over here on the left you'll see a, uh, a 
a button that is green, red, and green. It's it's the uh, it's this is the uh, route manually tool, and if you hover, it says route. So we're going to click on that, and the first thing we want to do is we want to choose: do we want this trace to be on the top of the board or the bottom of the board? In this case, we can go with the bottom since we're all we're dealing with all through hole parts here. I have no problem going with the bottom. If it was surface mount, we'd have to go with the top. Um, so we've got that selected here. If you wanted to change the top, you could change that right here with this drop down. So, we're, but we're going to leave that as a top. The other thing you'll notice here is these uh, these buttons here. These allow you to change the type of uh, the type of angle or the type of way you bend the trace. And we'll see that eventually. We'll actually we'll see down the uh, third trace that we do. So we'll get to that in a second. But one of the things I want to pay attention to is right here. This is this is what controls the width of our trace and in this case we're this is a power trace so we want to go with something uh, a little beefier than than your standard uh, auto route trace so we're going to go with uh, 1.27 inch uh, millimeters and now we have that selected we're all set so let's go ahead and click this first pad and you can see that both of these pads have turned green or light green to indicate that they have been selected and as you can see automatically I've got a trace that is following my mouse cursor now obviously we only want to go right to here so we'll click again and there we are we've already we've already placed our first trace and and also whenever you've completed a trace uh, the light green pads will go away to indicate that you have placed that trace and you no longer have them selected. All right, let's do the same thing with the switch on the other side of the diode. We'll click and we'll come on down here and we'll click again. And one thing you may not have seen, there is an air wire right here because we're connecting these two pads together. So let's go ahead and run those as well. Do one there and we'll run this one here as well. And now this trace going to the regular, this is where our um, where these um, uh, elbow buttons uh, are going to come in handy. So we're going to click. And as you can see, I'm getting, I'm getting this right now. Obviously, we can't do that because the trace is going right over another pad, and, and we can't do that. Now, we have the option. Um, we could go through this capacitor and then to the regular, or we could jump around it. In this case, we can go to the capacitor, it's no problem, but we don't want this elbow bend. So we use our right right click, and now we can change how we bend this trace. In this particular case, um, we'll use this uh, we'll use this 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna go up here to the cap and I'm gonna click. And now we've got this nice trace with this nice 45 degree, and we're gonna do the same thing to the regular. So we'll click and now we can either do this or what I would prefer to do is use this where uh, we're gonna clear this pad uh, we're gonna give plenty of distance between them. so we'll click and there we are now we've run all of our manual traces and we'll we'll do a couple more here uh, in the next lesson so we'll go and stop it there and uh, we'll see you in, uh, in lesson uh, 9 alright